welcome to the online class children this today we have learned sst okay lesson 19 i think it was over and today i have sent pdf in your group okay just to complete the pdf whatever the exercise part is there of lesson 19 sst i am talking about sst okay so whatever the question answers i have sent and exercise part you have to complete in your copy okay just to complete it today itself in your copy all of you clear okay will you complete raise your hand will you complete no yes try to complete it okay today itself you completed whatever the true false okay true false match the following it is there you will complete in your book and the question answers you will complete in your copy correct so just to check it today itself i have already sent that chapter okay and now this is a gk period okay all of you are having gk book with you all are having gk book with you okay good so today we will learn lesson number 36 lesson number 36 and the name of the chapter is famous entertainers famous entertainers okay so you can see the pictures are given here okay and you have to identify the name of that who is that famous entertainer okay so the pictures are given here photos are given here and you have to identify you can see the help box is also given in your book last okay so try to complete with when i am completing here no you also complete in your book take pencil and complete in your book so that you can complete it uh, now only okay don't uh, leave it for later on do it now in the class in the, now only but if the class is going on you have to complete it now okay first you can see the picture first one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 total nine pictures are given isn't it yes nine pictures are given now so you have to write one by one first one first one is manushka sethi okay so you write it okay in the help box also the name is given just to write correct spellings from the help box please check the spellings carefully and write correctly in your book with the correct spelling okay and all of you have to write with the pencil is it clear yes anushka shetty okay now second one rithik roshan so you write it <laughs> now third one is ayushman khurana now fourth one fourth you write it Ramo de Souza. Ramo de Souza. Okay. Now fifth, fifth one, Shraddha Kapoor. Okay. Okay, I think it is clear now. First one Anushka Chetty, second one Rithik Roshan, third one Ayushman Purana, and fourth Ramu De Souza. Fifth one Shreya Shraddha Kapoor. Clear? Completed? Up to here it is completed now. Okay.
Now, sixth. Sixth one, Prabhu Deva. No? Prabhu Deva. Okay? Fifth one is, sixth one is Prabhu Deva. Are you able to see? Okay. Next one, seventh. Seventh you, Neha Kakkar. Okay? Now, eighth one, Shriya Gosar. Okay? Okay? Written? Please write the spellings carefully. Okay? Up to eight, it is completed, no? Yes. Now, ninth one. Kapil Sharma. I think this Kapil Sharma video means uh, uh, you, you, you can see, no? I think you have seen this. No? This show is very interesting. Yes, no? Comedy show it is, no? So, I think in uh, television, so much you have seen. Isn't it, no? Very interesting, no? We enjoy also Kapil Sharma show. Always we laugh when we see. Yes? Yes. So, Kapil Sharma. Correct. Completed. All of you have completed this? Written in your book? Raise your hands. All of you have written? Completed? Yes. Good. Now this chapter is over. Now we will take another chapter. Next chapter will take 37. Chapter number 37 will take. Okay. Here you can see the medical equipments. The name of the chapter is medical equipments. Okay. It is very important. Medical equipments are very important. No. Why? It, because doctors use various types of equipments to protect the diseases. How to, how to find out the diseases? By the equipments only. You know, so many diseases are there nowadays. So many diseases are spreading nowadays. So how doctor can identify? Doctors can identify by the, with the help of the equipments. Isn't it though? And the thermometer we check. Thermometer, why? What is the use of thermometer? To check the fever? Isn't it now? Syringe for injection, vaccination syringe are used. X-ray machine, machine also is there. Okay, for to, just to find any damage is there in the body or something, some problem is there in the bones. Okay, so these are the equipments which is very important to identify, helpful for to identify the problems, whatever the problems are there in our body, whatever the diseases are there in our body, we come to know that with these equipments. Clear, no? So they are very important. Okay? Now, fill in the missing letters to complete the name of the equipments. Now here, you can see in page number 45, lesson number 37, page number 45. This is lesson number 37. Okay? Lesson 37. Medical equipments. Open it, all of you. Open that page. Medical equipments. Open it, all of you. All of you got that page? Okay. So now we will complete that. The missing letters. Okay. So, some of the alphabets are given here. Only the missing one you have to write it. Okay. So, but I will write here full. You have to just to see and write. Understand? I will write full name. So, first one, fill the blanks. It is no first one, fill the blanks. So, first, that is what is used to measure the temperature of human body. What is used to which equipment is used to measure the temperature of human body? Thermometer. Temperature of human body is measured by thermometer. So. Write this spelling, correct spelling. Here, like the box is given, no? D, 
H, okay. E R Okay. Just in each box, you have to fill this alphabets, this letters. Correct? No. Thermometer. Correct. Please write it. Next one. So this is equipment which is used to measure the temperature of our body. Correct. Next. Dash is used to check the blood pressure of the patient. Write the correct spell. That is sigmo manometer. Okay. Over. Now third one. Correctly write this place. S P H R H. This is here R. S P H Y. Okay. And G. Already it is given, no? This Y is already given. You have to write it. G M O M A N O M E T E R. Correct. No. Next one. Third one. Dash is used to listen the heartbeat of a patient. So heartbeat. This is also equipment. No. Stethoscope. No. Doctor used to put in the ears and check your heartbeat. No. Stethoscope. Okay. So you write it. S G E T H O S C O P E. Correct. Okay. Written. Write the correct spellings. All of you have written. Yes, uh, write the spellings carefully. Correct. No. <laughs> Next one. Both dash is used to inject fluid into a into or take out of a person's body. We inject it, and that fluid get injected inside of our body and take out also. So, what is that equipment is called? It is called syringe. Syringe with the help of syringe only you are uh, injecting now. So, right, syringe. Yes. Bye. R I N G E syringe. Okay, now dash use a beam of radiation to create image of inside of our body. We get we come to know about the inside of our body with which equipment by the which which machine which equipment is used X ray machine. Okay, which equipment is used? X ray. Okay, so you will write that X ray. In each box, you have to fill the alphabets. Okay, X ray machine. But you have to write the correct spell. Okay. Okay, correct. In each box, you have to write the correct alphabets. Please write it. Written? Kritika Mishra. Written? Yes. Okay, next one. Dash use uses sound wave to produce image of the inside of the board. Image of inside of her body.
How we come to know that? By the ultrasound machine. Ultrasound machine. Okay. So you write. Ultrasound machine. Okay. Next. Seventh one. Dash uses computer and rotating X ray machine to create detailed image of the body. Detailed image of the body. Okay. How we come to know that? With which equipment? That is CT scan. Okay. Which is equipment name is CT scan. Okay. So you write C T. Okay. One box C and another box T scan. All are sitting. Nobody is writing or what? Nobody is writing. Show me your pencil, all of you. All of you show me the pencil so that I can know. Yes. How many of you are writing? Yeah. Good. All are writing. Shake your head. Just don't sit like a statue, like a statue. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. CT scan machine. Okay. Clear. Are you able to see? Are you able to see? Yes. It is given also. Answers are given also. You can see uh, the pictures are given here. All the pictures of the equipments are given here. Name also given here. You can easily see how that machine is there and how it is working. How machine is working. You can easily see. Huh? Correct now? And uh, how, what is the image? Correct image of the machine. Easily you can see the image of the, how it looks. How the thermometer looks, how syringe looks, how x-ray machine looks, how this stethoscope looks, all this CT scan ultrasound, how it looks, you can easily see. And I think, I hope you have seen when, uh, when you go to the hospitals for any purpose, I think you have seen all these machines, isn't it now? So it is clear to you with this equipments, these equipments are very important to identify the diseases, to check the diseases. Okay, it is helpful for the doctors to check the diseases. Correct, no? Now, this is over. This chapter is over. I think you have completed in your book. Completed. Now we'll do the another one. That is lesson number 38. We'll try, uh, try to come because very short chapters are there. We'll complete lesson 38. Okay, the name of the chapter is Inventors and Invention. Inventors and invention. Okay? Yes. Now, the inventors and inventions particular things means you know an invention is a unique method or object produced through the process of imagination and experience when a person imagines something and experience by doing some practical experiments by the experience then only the particular things get invented understand and it is invented by the inventors who invented it the inventors invented this isn't it no and that invention, that inventors, whatever they invent, that process is called what? Invention. What we call that? Invention. Okay. A person who invents a particular thing is called what? Particular thing that is get invented. Okay. And that process is called what? Invention. What we call that? Invention. So here the names are given. Mass the followings. Mass inventors to their inventions. Inventors' names are given and whatever whatever they have invented, that is given another side. So you have to match it correctly. Okay, 
so just to see the first one uh, mentioned given no, in the book you just open this page all of you all of you please open this page that is page number 46 open it yes so roger l east first okay what he has invented that is c no what is given here global positioning system okay that is c global positioning system all of you note it down or directly i can just i will not write the, your name only i will just first like this first first one is what c okay so correct understand no okay now second i will only tell you and you have to match it now willis carrier so what he has invented tell me what is yes air conditioner no yes note it down correct so that is second one what is that a no a correct now third rainy lenek what he has invented invented an instrument that enables to listen the internal body sound that instrument which helps to uh, listen the internal body sound what is that stethoscope what is that stethoscope no so that is you can just write it d okay now yes fourth one now fourth what is john shepherd barrel okay what he has invented what is that automated teller machine that is atm no correct no atm no so that is four you can just you can write e okay e now fifth one martin cooper what he has invented martin cooper mobile phone yes no just write that is here correct no okay next sixth one louis braille louis braille now what is that he has braille no that is braille so that is sixth one it is b correct no b and this one is s understand correct clear all of you have written all of you have matched okay good now can we do one more chapter today very small small chapters are there and i think you are enjoying also very small and easy to write gk is very easy ah uh -huh. good so now today we will complete one more chapter okay 39 where do they live the name of the chapter where do they live name the buildings where the following live different people live in different types of buildings you know that different people live in different types of buildings okay so now just to will do the next chapter that is the name of the chapter where do they live lesson number 39 okay now here you see soldiers live in soldiers live in where barrack okay so the first one okay write the correct spelling barrack okay next one monks live in where the monks live monastery 
monastery. Okay, that is monastery. Okay, that is monastery. Now, third, nuns live in convent. Yes, nuns live in convent. Correct. Now, next one. Orphans live in an orphanage. Orphan means those who don't have their parents. Yes, no. The, those who don't have their parents are called orphans, isn't it? So you write orphanage. Orphanage. Correct. Orphanage. All of you have written? Say yes or no. Written. Write the correct spelling. And you can see the help box is given there only. Don't miss, don't just write wrong spellings. You can see from the help box and write correct spellings. Okay. So that is over now. Orphanage. Now next one. Nomads live in a. Nomads means those who go from one place to another in search of food. Yes. They don't have a permanent place. So what we call that? The place where they live, the where they live, tent. Yes. Where they live, tent. Correct. Tent, T E N T, tent. Next. Six months. Prisoners live in. Prisoners means those who do some crime. So where they live? Prison. Prison only, no? Jail, prison. Correct. So you write prison. Okay. Now, seventh one. King and queen live in. Where the king and queen live? Palace. Palace. Okay. That is called palace. Don't write place. Don't write place. Write palace. P A L A C E. Correct? No? Yes. Next. Students, workers, or travelers live in hostel. hostel. Correct? Hostel. Hostel. Don't write hotel. Hostel. H O S T E L. Hostel. Over. Now, one more. Inuits, Inuits live in an. You know, it is a block in SST already you have learned. No? Ice block. Okay. Ice block is there. Okay. In, in the polar region, we find that is what is uh, igloos. We call that igloo. Isn't it? Now, igloo. A house which is made up of ice. Isn't it? Now? It is called igloo. All of you have written? Written now. So today we will complete it up to here only. I think you have already, you have completed in your books. Please complete it. And SST also try to complete it today itself. Whatever I have taught yesterday, no? you have to complete it in your copy. Question answers. Okay. Complete your copy. Okay. Thank you.